Hi, I am Monica Humpel. I'm a master certified coach, and this is a special series I'm doing on my channel just for the unfaithful partner. I hope these videos are helpful, and the goal of the videos is to help you better understand what's going on with your betrayed partner. I understand how it can be very complicated and stressful and some probably sometimes pretty frustrating as you're trying to lean into the relationship, you're trying to heal the relationship, you're trying to help your betrayed partner feel better and yet they're still struggling and you don't know what to do. So these videos are really just to help you have a better understanding and in this particular video I'd like to talk a little bit about emotional affairs. You may not be in this boat, but if you are, I hope this helps clarify some things about what an emotional affair is and the impact it has on a betrayed partner. Based on some comments and posts I've seen in my Facebook group, which has over 7,500 betrayed wives in it, um, it seems that there is an understanding out there that emotional affairs aren't as big a deal as physical affairs. And there's some unfaithful partners out there who tend to dismiss their betrayed partner's feelings saying, well, it's not like I had sex with them. Why are you so stressed out? It's not like I ever really met them in person. It was only online. Why is this bothering you so much? And the betrayed partner feels very dismissed and, and their feelings are not validated. And they don't feel like their significant others really understand the impact of the hurt and the trauma they're experiencing due to this emotional affair, this emotional relationship outside of their committed relationship. So I want to help you understand a little bit about how different types of betrayal can impact a person um, and how all of it is, is legitimate. This pain, this trauma, this betrayal, this grief, all of it's real. And it really doesn't matter how, how the affair took place, whether it's emotional or physical, the pain is substantial. And I want to help you understand this so that you can lean into and support your betrayed partner in a better way. Okay, so you have had uh, an emotional affair. Let's say it, a lot of these tend to be completely online. Some of them are just friends, right? Or just a friend at work, just a friend I work out with, just a friend who happens to be a neighbor. And perhaps your par partner feels very uncomfortable with these relationships. Perhaps it was, it did turn into something sexual, even if it was just an online relationship and um, it was sexual in nature only because you were going back and forth with things online about, you know, you know, sexual nature things. So whatever the circumstances, if it wasn't a physical relationship, meaning there was no romantic physical contact between the two of you and it was only emotional, either online or in person, you may feel that that's not a big a deal and you just stop talking to that person and your spouse should just be totally fine with that. Your partner should just be fine and just move on or whatever. What your partner is feeling is very similar to a physical affair. And here's why. Any type of infidelity, it's a betrayal. And betrayal means simply, not, well, not simply, it's very complicated, but betrayal basic at a basic level is when a covenant, a contract, or a trust has been broken, something's been broken. And if you're in a long-term committed relationship, if you're in a marriage, and you have chosen to give to someone else something that you had committed to give to your partner, that is betrayal. Withholding honesty, lying to your committed partner is betrayal 
Because being in a committed relationship is a commitment for honesty. And if you're not honest, that has been a betrayal. Do you see? So there are a lot of different ways to betray a person. When it comes to infidelity within a relationship, physical and emotional are very, very hurtful ways to betray your partner. You know, when we get into long-term relationships, marriages, things like that, we commit. We, we, we commit to them being our best friend, for them being the person we lean on when we're struggling, that we will share our feelings with them, that we will be their person that they can lean on when they need help, that we will, you know, laugh with them, cry with them. We will be honest with them that we will, you know, our bodies will only be for their pleasure. No one else's. Do you see when infidelity takes place, that's where the betrayal is deep and it's hurtful and, and our betrayed spouse and partner feels um, that that has just been broken It's devastating. So if you're in that scenario and you're watching this video because you feel that, well, I mean, we were just friends and, you know, my partner's overreacting. It's no big deal and and all this. If they begin to feel that what you're giving another person is what you need to be giving them because that's what was committed to in this relationship that has been broken, that is valid. Their feelings are valid. And if you're making a choice to not validate that and just brush it off and tell them they're just overreacting, it's not a big deal. I never had any physical intimacy with them. So, you know, (laughs) that's just, just move on. It's going to be okay. That's further hurt towards your betrayed partner. You see all that emotional stuff you're giving somebody else. Your partner wants that part of you and deserves that part of you because they're your, they're your partner. They're your spouse. Choosing to give that to another person is choosing to create a separate relationship outside of your committed relationship. And I will go one step further to say, if you have any question as to whether you were um, betraying your partner or your spouse by having this relationship, ask yourself, were you being secretive about it? Were you um, hiding the amount of communication you were having with this person? Were you meeting up or seeing this person and lying to your partner or spouse about it because you just didn't want to make a big deal about it or you didn't want to upset them or you knew it would upset them. That indicates that you really do view this other person as a separate relationship that in your heart, you know, might not be a very healthy relationship to have. And potentially, you know that it is hurting your spouse or your partner. Emotional affairs absolutely cut deep. They absolutely hurt and could hurt at the very same level that a physical affair would. Your partner, your spouse's feelings are valid. They are valid. And regardless of how you view that relationship, what's important is the damage that relationship is doing to your committed relationship with your spouse and your partner. How is that external friendship, whatever you want to call it, affecting your marriage? How is continuing to talk to that person, even though your partner and spouse isn't okay with it, how is that affecting them? Think that through and decide if it's worth that amount of hurt and devastation to your relationship to continue having this external friendship or whatever you want to call it. Emotional affairs really can destroy a marriage. It can destroy a relationship and it most certainly can rip apart the heart of your significant other. Please keep that in mind. 
I hope this helps make give you a little bit of clarity um, as to why perhaps your partner might be struggling so much with what you don't think is a big deal, but is a very big deal to them. I encourage you to consider marriage counseling if your partner or spouse has requested it. Look at that. I think sitting in the marriage counseling office can help the two of you have more clarity. If you truly believe there's nothing to be worried about and said um, external relationship, well, work that out with a counselor. Let's see if you can find some middle ground there. But my experience with every client I've had and and in the Facebook group I have is that if your significant other is feeling super uncomfortable and super hurtful, there is a reason behind that. That very rarely comes out of thin air. Take a moment to validate how how your spouse is feeling, how your partner is responding. There's a reason. And see what you can do if you want your your relationship to work, if you want your relationship to heal, validating them and their feelings is a big part of that. Lean in, see if you guys can't get some help to get some clarity between the two of you. And I hope this helps you better understand why they may be responding the way they are about your relationship with another person.